It happened just before 8 o'clock when a work truck heading north on 550 crossed into the southbound lanes, hitting another car head on. The crash site caused severe damage to both vehicles and the Chevrolet Tahoe caught fire as a result of the collision. Oh my god, oh my god, she's just alive. You could hear the shock in the voice of Alexandra Yazi as she was driving by and got video of the accident. We thought it was like firebomb or something and then we got closer. What's when we realized it was an accident. The work truck had four people inside. Three were taken to the hospital and the driver died at the scene. The Chevy Tahoe had two adults, a toddler and an infant. None were able to escape the fire in time. I could hear girls just moaning in pain and we, we don't know where she was at. Alcohol may have played a factor into this crash. And as you can see down here, there are two full bottles of beer. Rudy Madradon was one of the several people that visited the crash site today. He says he feels for the families. Those are the ones you really feel sorry for because like I said, they were on their way to, probably to do something yeah, that uh, probably for some entertainment. They might have been going down to Oakley for Mother's Day or in fact, something like that. The condition of the survivors of this crash is still unknown, and investigators say it will take weeks before they figure out exactly what happened here. Reporting in Sandoval County, Katie Mush, KYT Action 7 News.